Okay, in this video we're going to learn how to write off accounts receivable. In the previous two videos we learned about setting up allowances for doubtful accounts. We learned the income statement method and that's where you use a percentage of sales and when you calculate that percentage of sales you're calculating a bad debt expense that goes into a bad debt expense journal entry. Uh, the next uh, video we learn the balance sheet method and the balance sheet method you take a percentage of accounts receivable and it's usually based on an aging list of accounts receivable this was a simple example and what you calculate isn't the bad debt expense but the ending balance of your allowance well the reason we did that was because we, we said when when a customer decides not to pay we actually have to record our bad debt expense in the proper period we can't uh, wait for the customer not to pay we have to make an estimate uh, of our bad debt expense and and that's all due to the matching principle well now we we've said okay it's not enough to wait for the customer not to pay uh, we need to set up an allowance well now in in this third question we're going to learn how to actually write off their account receivable when our customer actually doesn't pay us so the question says it's December 5th 2012 XYZ company owes your company uh, two thousand dollars You've been waiting for payment for over seven months and have decided that you will never get the money and you want to write off this company's account receivable. Record the necessary journal entry. Okay, writing off accounts receivable is really easy and it's especially easy if we understand um, the income statement method and the balance sheet method, how this works. So the first step of writing off an account receivable, and what I mean by write off is just get rid of, give up on that's what we're saying when we write off like if you've ever been in a car accident and they say the car's a write-off what they're saying is give up on that car you're not going to repair the car goodbye car so what we're saying when we want to write off accounts receivable is goodbye accounts receivable we want it gone well how do I say goodbye to any asset as an accountant it's all about journal entries uh, how do I say goodbye to any asset I credit that asset so this XYZ company has a $2,000 accounts receivable. Well, we have an account receivable uh, from them. So I'm going to get rid of it. I'm going to credit accounts receivable. And I might even note who it's from, XYZ Co. Uh, and it's for $2,000. And I'm just saying, look, we don't have a receivable anymore. Look, this isn't an asset to us. We're never getting that money. we got to get rid of it. So I credit my account receivable from XYZ company. Now the debit is tricky. It's actually not that tricky. Uh, the debit to write off uh, an account receivable, you might think, is bad debt expense because it's like a cost of having receivables. It's an expense. But no, no, no. We just went through that whole exercise to set up allowances for doubtful accounts. We said, oh, you know, sometimes customers don't pay. We need to set up an allowance in case they don't pay. Well, now they're not paying time to use up our allowance so in the last couple of questions we said our allowance always ends up as a credit so we're allowing for the fact in this this other example that fifteen thousand four hundred dollars worth of our customers won't pay or worth of our accounts receivable aren't going to come in well now we've said hey this account receivable isn't coming in let's use up some of that allowance how do I use up part of the allowance I debit it so I'm going to debit my allowance for doubtful accounts it's two thousand bucks uh, I should have dated this this is dated December 5th that's when I decide to write them off that's my debit and there's my credit so at this point I've done a great job pat myself on the back I've written off my allowance or I've written off my account receivable from XYZ company so if you're ever in a scenario where you need to write off an account receivable just know credit the account receivable and you're halfway home right just get rid of it that's what write-off means so get rid of that account receivable credit that account receivable the debit to write off accounts receivable if your company's doing it the right way is to debit allowance for doubtful accounts you don't debit bad debt expense at this point you have to wait uh, and set up that allowance so again we don't debit bad debt expense when we write off an allowance for doubtful accounts that's called direct write-off and that goes against gap and IFRS and goes against the rules of accounting writing off accounts receivable is easy always this journal entry debit allowance credit accounts receivable hope this video has been helpful for you and uh, good luck